Hey y'all, it's Brandon, and I have got a special project coming up, so I have had to modify my press again, but it's it's some, uh, uh, some interesting modifications you might be able to use in your shop, so let's check it out. The shop press that I modified and did a video on that I'll put up there somewhere is great. I love it. It's been a huge help, but I've got some ideas because I want to do more than just make things flat with it, so to do that, I've got to take it apart and build more attachments for it, so time to do that. Now here's my plan. I'm going to take this big piece of the half inch channel iron that I got at the scrap yard. It's ah, let's see, four inch channel iron and I'm going to make the press piece out of it. I'm going to use some of these small I-beam pieces and cut one side off to make the, the followers for it that I'm going to weld on the end. I'm going to mark all this. I'm going to use these eye bolts to catch the springs in the press stand. I'm going to take these two ball hitches that I got. Well, this I got from the scrapyard for free, and this, I don't know where it came from, but I don't need a, what is this, a 2 and 5 sixteenths ball hitch. So I'm going to make some, some press heads out of these. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take some of this flat stock, weld it to it, and make it bolt up on the bottom of this. So I will have a, a piece that I can change the head on without making a new one of those. So that's my plan. I think I have everything I need, so I'm going to get started on it. If you don't have a set of transfer punches, that is something that you can get from Harbor Freight and it's not going to be a bad thing to have a Harbor Freight tool, but you line up a hole and then you can transfer straight through. Uh, I might should use the smaller one. That's got that mark for me. I'm going to center punch it a little deeper and come back. exactly to put my half inch holes in here. So I want them to be where I can use washers on the top. And I don't have to thread them. That looks fairly close. These don't have to be as precise. Oop, a little spider there. I got my eyelets in backwards so I can simply punch this with the center punch this with the yeah. I hope I left myself enough room to do this. I guess we will see. Transfer a punch again. You know what? I'm going to drill that one and come back and get the next one. There we go. This big ball hitch is big enough I can cut the uh, shank, shaft, whatever it's called off with the band. So, 
both got they both a little proud on where the stud was, so sounded like a job for a flap disc. Well, this is an interesting tidbit. I did not know this. If you look at these, these are the, the hitches and where I cut the, the shaft or shank or whatever it's called off, that's a different material. I don't know if it's friction fit or threaded, but I guess those pieces are machined from different material. That's crazy. I didn't know it. I learned something. So did you. These little live beam sections that I have to cut pieces off of, I'm going to cut the bulk off with my port band. And, uh, those pieces are cut off, but I still got to grind it smooth. Got these ground down, clean up the inside of this and the outside of this so I can get a good weld. Okay, I got my ends clamped on, so I'm gonna tack them. Stacked on good, made sure it fit. Now I'm gonna. Run from well. Got my first one setting in here and I'm going to tack it first. Now, I'm not welding this to the inside of the channel iron. I'm welding it to the, the plate. Now I'm going to do the plug weld. And this is through this hole. I'm going to weld into the ball and weld up that way. The smaller ball, I'm not going to be able to weld right to the plate because it just sits too low. So I cut off a piece of a, a hydraulic arm and uh, cleaned it up. I'm going to have to weld it to that.
So I put my bolts through and I've got my uh, eye bolts that attach to the springs through. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to weld these bolts on the back so that it won't be dropping bolts every time I change this thing. I'm going to let that cool off with the bolts through there so they don't shift, hopefully. These bad boys are ready to go now. Now, I did this off camera because there's not really a lot interesting here, but I put, I stacked some weld on the flats on top of these and then ground it smooth-ish. Um, smooth enough to do what I want to do. So now they are completely spherical. Spherical. Am I saying that right? Let me know if I'm saying that right, but uh, spherical. They're, they're rounded. Um, so now I should be able to uh, make round dead things. Okay, so I've taken the bottom of one of those cylinders that I use for, you know, everything. Because uh, it's got a nice rounded bottom. I did take a, a finger sander and kind of clear some little, little burrs and flat spots out of there. The first thing I am going to try to mash here is a cold bottom out of an aluminum fire extinguisher. Let's see what happens. You know, it helps if you uh, have the jack ready to go before you start doing it. There we go. So yeah, that did a thing. It's interesting. I wonder that tour over there. Huh. Alright. Well, that did a thing. We can work with that. started on my next little project but you know this could be used to make all kinds of things uh, anything from um, you know ladle cups you know anything that, that you need a, a curve or a cupping shape and also by using things other than those tank bottoms you know I could use a uh, large pipe cut in half and and do you know just a single curve you know it's, it's your imagination is uh, is really all it's up to. You can take you can take wood, like end grain, a slice of wood, and uh, grind a specific shape into it. Cut or drill, and then you can press into that. I mean, there's just all kinds of things that you can do with this. And I'm also pretty excited that I made an extra piece, like a template. So any more dies that I need to make for the press, I can just make them, load them on that template, and we are good to go. But anyway, so I can get started on my, my project now. 
I'm kind of stuck. I'll give you a hint what it's going to be. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Anyway, I hope y'all got something out of this. Y'all behave yourselves. Uh, so I have to modify. Ah, the light. <laughs> oh, yep. Set that bag up. Ah! I can get back over here. It's a mess. All right. <laughs>